Hey guys, what's up? And uh, you can see it right here, my Matt Golden Ticket Player. So we're going to open this up. I'm going to pick mine. I think I know which one I want, but I'm also just going to... Man, that animation feels so good to see on my own screen. But I'm going to explain why I go with who I go with. So, oof. We're just going to let this play out for a minute. Man. It's a beautiful thing, ain't it? It really is beautiful. And the very last card, Brian Dawkins. Okay, so I'm going to explain. Um, if you guys don't know what my team looks like, I'll explain it. So basically, at quarterback, I got 99 Mahomes. I'll... Click on Vic, and I can show you guys. So, um, accuracy really is pretty similar. Yeah, it's like one or you know one for Vic on short, and it's two on D for Mahomes. Mahomes has thrown under pressure. He has thrown the run, and Vic has play action by one. These are almost the same card, except for one stat. And that's the fact that Michael Vick has 10 more speed. That's that's it, really. <laughs> He's got 10 more speed. Okay, so it's I got 99 Mahomes. Do I really need Michael Vick? And the answer is no. I don't really need him. And that can go the same with, say, RG3. If you take a look at RG3, you know, it's the speed again and throwing stats. Mahomes has him in mid-accuracy by four, but throw under pressure, throw on the run, the play action's a big difference as well. Um, who are the other quarterbacks? There's Josh Allen, who, again, you compare to Mahomes. And... Okay, speed's five, right? Short, really, it's one. So mid is four, and Mahomes has deep by one, throw under pressure by five. They have the same throw on the run, and um, Josh Allen has a little more play action. Seven, so not really a little, but he's got more play action. Uh, Lamar, right? Lamar, I would say, is the biggest... Um, difference quarterback stat wise to Mahomes 90 you know 11 more speed he's got two more mid one more deep um he's got one more throw under pressure and he's got seven more play action so he may be the biggest difference in stats uh Sanu you know he's got a little bit of speed and he's got the short but the mid he's lacking a little bit um, and then throw under pressure, throw on the run, and play action are all less than Mahomes. Yes, throw on the runs only by one. Uh, Cam Newton's another one. He's going to have Mahomes in speed. Uh, and he's got him in the throwing stats, really. So he's a really good quarterback as well. You know? You know, he'd have 99 deep. Uh, with my chems, and he'd probably get to 99 throw power as well. So that'd be a really good quarterback to have. But overall, 
I mean, Mahomes is a nice quarterback, and I don't take off with my quarterback that often. You know, Mahomes to me has just enough speed where I can get away, you know, from some defenders. Or I can get away long enough to throw it away or throw it to the receiver. So I don't really know if I need a quarterback, okay? So where else are we? Wide receiver, okay? 99 Tory Holt. Unless you're, you know, you had either a late start to the game or you stopped playing for a while, you have 99 Tory Holt at this point. And if you don't and you're Mutt level 99, go make him a 99. Actually, you might even be able to do it at like Mutt level 97 or 98. But uh, I think 97. But, you know, Tory Holt, everyone has him at this point. I got Juju. Now, Juju is my number three wide receiver, okay? I mean, even Torrey Holt, there's a couple stats here and there. Like spec catch, catch in traffic, Kelvin Benjamin has them. Simple. But Kelvin only has 90, 93 speed, right? Juju has 94. Plus, I got the Steelers chems, you know, pretty high up right now. Uh, Emmanuel Sanders, yes, Kelvin Benjamin is better in every single stat. So... But even then, I got, like, Calvin. Then then there's that Calvin as well, but he's not on my team. And even Antoine Randall-L um, for the Steelers chems. So between a 99, I think my Calvin's a 99. He's either a 99 or a 98, and another 98. Receiver isn't a huge need, but even then, would I really take Calvin? Uh, I got 99 Shazir and 97... Um, 97, um, Devin White. So, I'll show you. Everyone, again, should have Shazir at this point. They had stuff throughout the year, and then they even have the wins now. If you get a certain amount of wins, you can, um, get Shazir to a 99 and get the, uh, spare or extra, uh, team captain tokens. But if you look, they got the same speed. Troy's got a little more Excel. Um, and besides strength, he kind of just, you know, in some stats, he, like, inches out Ryan. In other stats, he, he's got a big difference. So, that's not bad. It's not a bad card. You even look at, um, Devin White, you know. Yeah, Devin's got 99 tackle, but everything else is, you know, there's a good difference between some of these stats, especially especially zone coverage. There's almost a 20 stat difference. But if I user Devin, that doesn't matter. Plus, Devin swaps out with my... Um, he swaps out with my... Let me think. With my um, spec up strong safety. And I'll use her those guys and let Shazir just roam on his own. But I could still, in theory, pick middle linebacker Troy. He just wouldn't play on my all-stealer team because I already have Troy at strong safety. Halfback Bo, I got 99 Saquon. I got 99 Bell. I have 98 Raheem Mostert. I don't need a running back. Plus, I don't like the old players anyway. I don't like the style of their uniforms. Uh, we went over quarterback. Corner. I have three 99 corners. 99 Byron Jones. 99 um, Pat Pete. And 99 uh, Champ Bailey. Now, obviously Champ Bailey and Byron Jones are gold 99s. Pat Pete is uh, boosted to it. 99. So I really don't need a corner. Uh, Julio. Again, we already went over receivers. But Julio, he's a damn good receiver. He would be someone that I'm like, you want fine, I'll go get him. Um, free safety, I have, we're going to skip tight end for now. I'm going to come back to that. Uh, free safety, I have 98 Minka. Well, he's boosted to a 98, but you compare Minka and Calvin, right? You know, besides, I mean, hit power is a sixth difference. 
Minka has quite a bit more man. Now, granted, you don't play a safety and man coverage all that often. Uh, he's got two more pursuit, Calvin does. Um, Minka's got more play rec. Tackling. Tackling, Calvin really has on Minka. That's a 20 um, stat difference, 20 point stat difference, whatever you want to call it. Um, so that's a possibility of, you know, Calvin. But also, I don't. I mean, this is my own preference, and this might be idiotic, but I don't really like um, players that have a number that's not what their position is. You know, so if there's a corner whose number is three, I don't want him on my team. I want, you know, like Nitrain Lane. He has 81 as a corner. I don't like that. We went over quarterback. Left end. Um, we all know how nasty Reggie White is. I have Daniel Hunter. I have his playoff card. It's boosted to a 97 right now. Like, y'all see it. It's 99 everything except for speed and excel. So he would definitely be a card that I consider. Again, we talked about corner. We talked about quarterback. We talked about running back. Even though that would be so nice for my all-stealer team. But then, even then, I have 99 Bell on the all-stealer team. Taylor Mays, we all have uh, Pat Tillman. We do. If he decides to load. Okay, cool. But Taylor Mays is one hell of a strong safety. And if not for the master, Tillman, I may have taken him. I may have decided to take Taylor Mays there. We talked about running back. We talked about quarterback. Left outside linebacker, I got TJ Watt. I, I got TJ. Where is he at? Right here. TJ Watt. Yeah, he doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have you know as much acceleration, but strength is almost equal. Tackling is close is somewhat close, but it's six, which is a you know, a small difference. It's actually it's more than a small difference. Um Block Shed, it's four. Power Move is two, but same finesse move. So, Brian Burns is a better left outside linebacker every day of the week. TJ does have more zone, so if I decide to drop him into a zone coverage at all, then ta da. Plus, Steelers Chem. So, uh, we went over quarterback. Corner, we went over a little bit, but Jalen, I've heard, is, and I've seen in a lot of. Um, videos is very, very, very good. Uh, speed, I mean, just comparing him to Byron, speed by one, he loses in Excel by one, agility by four, they have the same jumping, but he has one more play rec, six more man, same zone, same press. So, he's really not that much better than Byron Jones. He's not. In terms of stats. Uh, Champ Bailey, he beats him in speed, Excel, and agility. Then, Jalen has jump, play rec. They're tied in man. He beats him in zone, but lockdown brings that zone right up to a 99. And he beats him in press. Same thing with Byron. I mean, zone's going to bring him up to like 9, or um, lockdown's going to bring him up, what, 95, 96 man? So it's not that big of a difference. And obviously, Pat Pete. Uh, he'll have 99 man. He'll have 96, 97 zone. Um... You know, the press is going to be ru around the same. Play rec, jump. He has more agility, but the speed and excel each by one go to Jalen. So do I really need Jalen? No. Keith, I have 99 um, Joey Porter as my right outside linebacker. A little bit of a difference in speed and excel uh, each by two. Uh, Joey Porter destroys him in strength. They have the same tackle. One more play rec for Keith. Uh, five more block shed, but the power move, finesse move is not even close. Uh, again, we talked about receiver. We talked about left outside, uh, left outside linebacker and free safety. So, I mean, he's got the hit power. He's got the zone. He's only two shy of Minka's man. Uh, six more pursuit. Same play rec. A lot more tackle. More Excel towards Minka and more speed towards uh, Brian Dawkins. So any of these guys would pretty much be an improvement. 
If it's not an improvement overall wise, it's an improvement stat wise. Uh, we did not talk about Zach. Where is he at? Okay, Zach Gentry. This is the last guy I want to talk to you guys about. Because here's the thing. I got Gronk, right? So I can upgrade him to a 99, buying his Ultimate Legend. Get him to a 99, Ultimate Legend Gronk. And then I also have 99, Zach Gentry. Do I really need two overall 99, two 99 overalls? The answer, no. Would that help a lot with the all Steeler team? Yes. Um, so I would say that I'm going to go with, if I had to pick, I mean, yeah, Zach's run block isn't the best and his strength ain't the best, but he's a damn good receiving tight end and he's got speed. Now I have looked, Zach is cheaper than, where is he? Oh, I went right by him. Uh, Reggie White. Who would be a big improvement on my D-line. Taking over for uh, Daniil Hunter. Yeah, Troy would be nice as well. Uh, he would take over for um, Devin White. But I wouldn't be able to use him on the All-Steeler team. Now, granted, I can't use Reggie White on the All-Steeler team either. I can use Zach on the All-Steeler team. Julio would be nice to have. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford any golden tickets this year. Now, we can take a look at the prices. But if they're not where I want them to be, I might take Zach just for the pure fact that it's, you know, for the All-Steeler team as well. Okay, so we can actually see here with um, everyone getting their free golden tickets right now. It's, I've seen prices cheaper than this. Fan appreciations are out. The people are getting their free golden tickets and... I mean, this Zach Gentry just sold for five seventy one. You see my coins right now. Yes, I have some cards in the uh, item binder that I can sell within the next couple days, but really, stuff's you know going back up. It looks like cards are starting to go back up. Yeah, you know they're going to top out about two mil, which is what they should have been to start out with, but. Um, since prices are going back up, and I don't know if, what I'm going to be able to afford and what I'm not going to be able to afford, I'm just going to take Zach, I think. Many of you will disagree with this, but for the sake of my all Steeler team, plus I have to buy Gronk, so there's no guarantee when I'm going to get him, so I'm going to take Zach Gentry as my free golden ticket card. Based on the team I have right now, which I'll show you guys. Like, I got 99 Mahomes. Barkley's a 99. 99, 98, 98. You know, Gronk's right now powered up to a 98. I can get rid of 96 Hunter Henry now. All right? Minka's a 98. Tillman's a 99. 99, 98, 99. 99, 99, 99. You know... I'm going to upgrade Dwight eventually. So, yeah. It's, I'm trying to get my team the best of what it can be. Yes, Reggie White is amazing, and I will probably buy him at some point. Along with Dwight Freeney's upgrade, along with Gronk. But I need the coins to do it. I'm going to go sell cards. I'm going to see what I can make back coin-wise, and... We'll see. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know who you would have picked in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, video please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button and turn notifications on. I'll see you guys next video. Later.